To present Curly is his son, Chad Culp. My father grew up the youngest of 13 on a farm in rural Arizona. My father's work ethic came from years of hard work on the farm with his father, slapping the hogs and doing plenty of chores before school. Curly Culp's hard work continued at Arizona State, where he was a model student athlete, excelling in the classroom, on the football field, and winning the NCAA heavyweight wrestling title in 1967. Wrestling really helped him playing football because of the footwork. So playing on the line, his handwork and his footwork was always just a little bit better than everybody else. Most times my father was able to go from being blocked by two and sometimes three people at a time and still being able to make the play. Culp was drafted by the Broncos in 1968, then quickly traded to Kansas City and ultimately became one of the key pieces to Hank Stram's defense, culminating in a victory in Super Bowl IV. Let's go, boys. Hey, let's go, man. After six and a half successful seasons in Kansas City, Cope was traded to Houston, and upon his arrival, once again became a central, dominant figure on defense. My father's biggest contribution to the game is he redefined the nose tackle position. Bum Phillips said that my father made it possible to be able to run the 3-4 defense. There was one story I heard in practice, I believe, where there was a rushing play and the guy came at him and he hit him with his forearm and the guy's helmet split right down the middle. And the guy went to the sideline and he came back out the next play and he did it again, which I think is pretty cool. All down from behind by Curly Cope and he just looped around and made the hit. Cope retired in 1981 after 14 seasons and six Pro Bowl selections. I've always been amazed with my father's excellence in sport and everything he's ever put his hands on from, from football to his transportation business, everything he's ever done, he's been the best at it. He's the best father I could ever ask for, my brother could ever ask for, the best husband my mother could ever ask for. When I was growing up, everything has always been the best and now there's a seal. I'm honored to present my father, Curly Culp, for enshrinement to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Curly Culp for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Chad Culp. Good evening. <laughs> I tell you, this is quite something. Uh, thank you, Chad. You know, Chad's the bonus baby. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my first child, uh, Christopher, he was called the, the Boompty Baby, and Chad is a bonus baby. <laughs> I know they're cringing right now, but it's okay. It's, uh, it's an inside family joke. Um, Greetings to the Hall of Fame, President Steve Perry and his lovely wife, Sandra, members of the Hall of Fame, selection committee, especially John McClain of the Houston Chronicle and uh, Rich Gossett of the Dallas Morning News, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and other invited guests and dignitaries. You know, this is an occasion that has long been in my dreams and now lives in reality. I cannot express how glorious a feeling this is for me and my family 
who have long hoped with me that this day would come. So to be enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame gives me joy and inspiration that would last the rest of my life. I must begin my remarks uh, by acknowledging and thanking my lovely wife, Colette, who has waited with me patiently for all these years for this day to come. She will always be the love of my life. Thank you, sweetheart, for all that you do. Again, to my sons, Chad William and Christopher Ryan, uh, you guys keep me on my toes and keep me feeling rather young. <laughs> Yes, I love you both with all my heart. To my granddaughters, uh, Nevaeh, Alara, and grandsons, Xavier, Brayden, and Brian, always know that you are loved. A special acknowledgement goes to my twin sister, Shirley. Uh, since we were very young, we have shared our hopes and dreams, and as adults, we have remained close and connected, even though we have lived in different states over the years. I love you, Shirley. I... <laughs> to my sisters Lucille, Frankie and Susie, and brothers Riley, Amos, Bill, Frank and Clarence, and their children, thank you for all your support over the years. To Mickey, Evan, Malcolm Pickford, I appreciate you being here. Thanks to my brother-in-law, Albert Bloom Sr. and his wife, Jeanette, and their son, Corey, for being here. I wish I had time to name all of my family and friends who are here, but I don't. So for all my invited guests, please stand and be recognized. All right. There you go. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you very much. Although I'm joined tonight with so many friends and family members, two of the most important people in my life, my parents, Frank and Octavia Culp, are not here to celebrate with me. Both died over 20 years ago, but their influence and spirit still remains within me. My parents were homesteaders in the 1920s, coming to Arizona from Nashville, Tennessee, and Ozark, Alabama. They lived a farming life, raising a combined family of 11 children. Although my parents depended on me to help with my dad's pig farm and earn extra money in the summer, pitching watermelons in California with my older brothers, and doing odd jobs whenever I could, they supported me when I had the opportunity to leave home and move to the big city of Tempe, Arizona to attend and graduate from Arizona State University. My parents were people of rigid faith and uncompromising discipline, but that helped me to become a successful student athlete. With their passing, I lost a lot of my family stories and some told and not remembered and others yet untold. But I will always remember, love and appreciate all that they did for me. Thank you, mom and dad. I can't go any further without acknowledging two important team owners, the late Lamar Hunt and Bud Adams. These are the men that made my professional playing days happen. Lamar Hunt, excuse me, Lamar Hunt was so welcome and kind to me, he even wrote me a handwritten letter that I keep to this day. And Bud Adams was instrumental in getting me to, to the Houston Love You Allers, and to him I'm internally grateful. Good owners make great players, and this is what these owners did for me. Thank you. And what can I say? And what can I say about two of the greatest coaches a player could ever work with? Hank Strand gave me that opportunity to join the Kansas City Chiefs, which changed the whole course of my professional football career. A uh, few people know that uh, Hank Strand visited uh, Arizona State University Athletic Banquet, and there. We had an opportunity to visit, and he said, Curly, if I ever get an opportunity to 
add you to my team, he would. So he, he was a man of his word. Hank was not tall in stature, but he had a long vision about the game and how it should be played. He believed we play as a team, we lose as a team, and, he win, and we win as a team. Discipline and training, effort by all, and believe in ourselves that was the driving force of his coaching philosophy. To Phyllis, his wife, he was a good man. And Kansas City will always remember his one-of-a-kind style. Whatever coach had an opera written about them, well, that's the one and only, Bum Phillips. Bum was a player's coach, and when Lou Saban traded me to come and join the Houston Oilers, a whole new dimension of defensive football began for me. Playing nose tackle in a 3-4 defense was a hallmark of Bum's defensive strategy. He was always loose and let us develop as a team. A huge shout out to Bum and the lovely Blue Oilers, the guys that set in motion an Astrodome era that was like no other in Houston franchise history and who made my time with the Oilers an unforgettable one. You know, I have learned so much over my life at Yuma High School, Arizona State University, uh, University of Houston, and University of Texas. I've learned that education helps you to believe and understand the best basic work of every human being, no matter what his or her viewpoint may be. I've learned that football is not just a sport, but a life lesson what it means to be a team player. I've learned that there are many good people in the world who love to play this sport, and recognize the value of sports as an avenue for building character. I've also learned from and admired the courage and wisdom of those who have coached me over the years. I've learned how pain can build character and endurance and believe that life itself is like playing a very long and exciting football game where every play can determine the outcome. So in life as in sports, we should play hard and clean and always do our best to succeed. So being elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame has helped me to remember and appreciate the guidance, mentoring, and a deep faith in God to ensure that my path was one that will make all the people close to me proud. My parents gave me that faith and it has taken me a long way and continues to do so even today. You know, my life has been tremendously enriched by playing the against game in an incredible league whose members are passionate about this sport. The Hall of Fame Museum is an incredible place dedicated to documenting the stories of extraordinary men, men who just wanted to play the game and found their niche in life doing so. I am just overwhelmed by the struggles, joys, and tears of those who have made it here and I am proud to join this elite group of men and pleased to pass the torch on to future Hall of Famers. Hopefully our stories, preserved forever in the Hall of Fame, will remind us and demonstrate to others what hard work and teamwork can produce. I just want to thank everyone whom I've worked with over the years. Each one has a very special place in my heart, and I will always remember this time in my life with continued pleasure. It is an honor for me to be placed among all these great Hall of Famers. And just it was an honor to wear the red and white of the Kansas City Chiefs and the blue and white of the Houston Oilers, I am now honored and humbled to wear Hall of Fame Go! <laughs> to, all, um, to all future athletes, Keep training, keep connecting with the community, and keep all of those here on this stage tonight in your prayers. And again, thank you so much for this honor. Good evening. So with Curly Culp's enshrinement, five players from that Chiefs defense, the triple stack defense of the 60s, basically half your defense is now in the Hall of Fame. Yeah.